Hey folks, Quilly King here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play Master of Orion. We are playing as the Alarians. we are on the fancy new patch, and um, in theory, might have found a reference. Some uh, Someone, I think, on Twitter pointed out that um, there had been some reports of the Antaran screen glitching out as a result of a weird interaction with the Logitech gaming software. We've certainly seen that Master of Orion, uh, the developers, like to... Um, introduced bindings to various, you know, funky sort of um, software packages. For example, the Toby IX that I did uh, like a promo video for, um, the eye tracking thing is supported by Master Orion innately. So it would not surprise me to discover that they already they also support some sort of um, weird integration with Logitech gaming software. And like, uh, it's probably something with like the, uh, the keyboard LCD lighting or LED lighting, I should say, or, um, or there seems to be some sort of, um, some sort of link up potentially where you can have your smartphone give you extra information. There's something like that. Anyway, I've gone and and, um, and exited out of the normal Logitech gaming software that runs in the background um, and turned off a few options. So we're, I'm going to hope that the Antaran cutscene does not crash things again. Because if it does, i got to be honest, I'm starting to get kind of demoralized about all this. So that's one thing. Uh, to address other issues, yes, um, definitely it, I, I had been forgetting about the battle pods. That'll be done now. In terms of using the wormhole to back door into the Mechlon area, I guess would be fine. I'm not worried about the Mechlon, like, or the Mechlar, I suppose, running away with the game per se. They're, you know, the primary threat, but I'm not that worried. And I kind of like generating, like, contiguous empires. So if we could expand out of Draconis to Draka and so on and have that be all our territory, that would feel good. But it is true that we could have gone in from the back over here. I mean, I, there's a reason that I put a, uh, a military outpost here for that wormhole a while ago is because I was worried about that presence. Um, I think I'm still okay with this. The squishier, easier target, the, 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 the soccer should be easier, I believe, because I don't think there's technologically developed. Gains us a little bit of territory, which is great, and then we can move on from there. So, let's go ahead and get started, though. Um, the Cucumbinator, we're going to take a look at, since, yeah, these special devices don't get added in. Um, we'll throw in the Battle Pods, and then we will also pair that up with mo a little bit more defense. Now, I don't think I'm going to go ECM Jammer. And when, originally when it got heavy armor and reinforced tall, I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to put that in. But now that we've got the extra space, it does seem like a good idea. Um, I don't know if, like, you know, more resilience, which makes it better, I believe, against, like, massed weaker weapons, uh, but more vulnerable, or, but doesn't do as much against a single stronger one. I think I'm just going to go for reinforced hull to get 50% more hull points. Um, and call that good enough. And then the extra space that we've got, just dedicate it to more guns. More guns are more better. Probably mostly just the Graviton cannons. I don't think I want to add any modifiers. You know, heavy mount enveloping is very good, certainly. Do I want to do like, do I want to switch to like 360 degree guns? Or anything? I've got two stacks of these. What's the deal? Forward facing. Forward facing. These are identical, aren't they? There's no other mods. This is our point defense. Interesting. I wonder why there's two separate categories here. Because, yeah, it doesn't have any mods. So I'm going to clear you out um, or not. I wonder... Uh, it used to be that having these allowed you to do sort of more separate targeting. All right, you clear and then add, even though it doesn't make any sense. Maybe... Maybe I will leave the two separate stacks. Bring it up to 14. Trying to keep them even here. Alright, so it's going to be slightly off. Because we're now full. We can't fit anymore. But we're going to be rocking uh, 33 guns now. And that's going to be okay. Um, I don't think we need more bombs because I'm still hoping that we can mostly just mind control things. So, all right, there we go. So we're going to save the new version of the Cucumbinator, which is going to be updated. Um, and yeah, I was going to say, we, there's no way we have enough money for that upgrade, but we've only got the one out there. Um, this is going to mean it's going to take longer to build more Cucumbinators, because that's a lot more, a lot more production. Uh, I'm going to go and just trim down the Q, which apparently can't do here, really. Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we'll keep things in there. Let me do that. We'll keep one more in the queue. That's going to be fine. 
Um, we've got that. Yeah, so we're slowly trying to build up our Q Combinator thing. And part of me is still wondering, like, would it be better to go with the cheaper ones? I'm not sure. I wonder if, um, when we do get, like, our, our buffed up version of the Q Combinator out there, the version 6 as opposed to the 5, if, like, that might be, just having one of them might be sufficient. I don't know. You've grown, you've got your hollow simulator over here, which is going to give us more morale, which is great. Um, what are we doing on this planet? You are abundant artifact. I mean, your Cylon, so your research rate is a lot better. So you're probably going to stay as a research planet, I suspect. So we may not go with the Neutron Collider. Um, do you need, do you have pollution? No, it's going down. That's fine. Population 8 of 10. Um... 8 of 10, only plus 1 food, so it's going to need like an extra farmer later on, which is kind of annoying. So I think getting a hydroponics farm makes a lot of sense, because I think we'll be able to get away with one fewer farmer. Math is hard, but I'm pretty sure that's true. So we're going to go and throw you in there, but other than that, um, and we'll queue up the global DNA uh, scanner for a little bit of um, anti-spy stuff, and then queue up the orbital batteries. But... I'm going to go and move you guys over here. I'll keep you with your extra point of production over here. That's fine, just so it doesn't take an apocalyptically long time to do it. But mostly we're going to focus on the research over there, which sounds good. Tell everyone to move. Next turn. And a colony ship over there. Yeah, if we can get our mind control into work, that's going to be great. I required the battle scanner. Hmm, now that is very interesting. Because, oh, and we completed research at the same time. Um, it's very interesting because we could add that to our ships to increase our accuracy. I mean, we've been upgrading our computers, which should hopefully be relatively decent. Although, is that the next level computer? How can you not give me a pop-up? There it is. The tooltip's taking forever to come up here. Do I have to be more central? Oh! So even though the icon's lit here, the tooltip hitbox is a little bit different. Yeah, I think I'm going to get the cyber electronics so that we can get the other computer. I don't think I'm going to add the battle scanner. I, as long as we keep our computers up to date and use our innate, like, plus 20, that's probably going to be fine. So where's the threatening fleet that was detected? Oh, space monster over here. Yes, we were embarrassingly defeated by that. The other thing to consider is when we can go after Orion. Uh, you just merge up. And I guess the uh, pull lick because we do have one, we should go and upgrade this cute cruiser design. Um, I guess to use the battle pod, eh, just double click on it, that's kind of annoying, plus uh, reinforced hull, and then more guns. That much. Done, and is there any chance? No. One, you're going to be upgradable, which is going to be good. The other one, we would probably never will. We'll probably just run that design. Okay. Uh, I believe my idea over here was to build a jump gate, so I'm going to do that. It's been several days since the last time we played, so there may have been something I was planning on doing here or there that I haven't done, but that's all right. Move the ships. Terraforming done at Magnus Prime. So what do we got now? Terran planet, very good. 16 space, excellent. Uh, lots of people on production right now. Now, this is mineral poor, so that's not going to be the case going forward. Um, these are not Cylons, which is a little bit disappointing. Maybe we could move some Cylon here and try to get them to tech up. But I think it's going to be okay. I don't think we're going to need any pollution processing. It's going up right now, but that's only because we're going crazy with our, our, um, our production. Uh, this is going to be big enough that a colonial revenue service is good. Um, it's got enough population that if we did throw some Robo Miners in here, it would actually be pretty swell. But I don't know how concerned I am about it. I think what I'm just going to do is queue up uh, deep sea cooling, um, orbital batteries, global DNA scanner, like that. And I'm just going to move you guys over here. We'll leave, uh, we'll leave these two in here for production at this time. Um, but yeah, just try to get a little bit more research going on. Next turn. Especially if we're going down the electronic ones, there might be more computer tech we can get to help our research, which I should be looking and at. And now, the news. Primo? Who does this belong to? The mineral classification of a... Valerian planet oh, has been downgraded. 
What? What? It's right here. It went from normal, or rather abundant, which is the normal one, to poor. Also, you've got this. I mean, we're not we're never going to do a lot of production here anyway, but it's kind of annoying on principle. Yeah, we're just going to just not even interact over there, so I guess that's fine. Um Okay, we have two cucumbinator 5s at this point. Oh, uh we have a leader on the Pulwick. We want to move you. We'll leader screen. You over here, we're going to move you. To this cucumbinator. I want the leaders to be on bigger ships. Makes it a lot less likely that they'll die. Hmm. I wonder if I can take the Sakura as is. Let's see. Uh, 300 and 1200. I've got, like, full vision over their stuff, right? So, may as well take advantage of it. Do they have a sizable fleet anywhere? I mean, I might have missed one. It looks like to me that just our single, like, freaking cruiser or whatever, our, uh, our Pulwick, by itself, could probably go and take out their entire empire. Alright, well, you know what? Let's go to war. Um, actually, I guess we can start moving first, and then just, like, sneak attack, basically. Let's do that. And attack. And, yeah, we'll just auto-resolve this, because there's nothing for us to interact with. We had non-aggression treaty. Yes, we're going to break it. I mean, we could warp all we could do things, but no, we're just going to go through here. Uh, oh, I need to your go attack Colin. Your nature will be your up. Just to finish off this base. There we go. Come on, mind control. Please work. Hmm, they just settled another planet for me. That's very convenient. Alright, move. And attack. And we will take command. Oh, it's popping this up again. Didn't, I don't think I ever clicked this. Yeah, assisted command is fine. Mostly I want the AI, but I want the option of, of you know, overriding that. So we have giant ships. And we have a cruiser, they're just packing destroyers, and their tech doesn't seem to be... They've got Graviton Cannons and Merculite Missiles. I mean, they got some things. Oh, we didn't shoot down all the missiles. They didn't go through our shields at all. Took off about maybe a third. Which is something. Boom, 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 boom. Done. Alright, yeah, that, that felt pretty good. Uh, attack colony. Mind control! There we go! Brump. Larens have crushed the soccer resistance. Lovely. So we need battle, uh, battleships to be able to mind control. So, high what? High descent? Uh, pollution. How come you guys are producing zero? Maybe in one turn it'll improve. I don't know. Um, but we are going to encourage you to build new space defenses. Um, actually, we'll get you to start with a neutron collider into Robo Miner. That's fine. This will mean slower defenses, but that's okay. Into Starbase, Missile Base, Orbital Battery. And I'm going to tell the governor to focus on production for you. So, yeah, hopefully, because you're not supposed to have descent. We're supposed to instantly assimilate things even before the mind control stuff worked. Uh, I'm going to take one of the Q-Combinators and tell them to move there. Oh, yeah, next turn. Yes, Q. 
Keep colonizing planets for me. I really appreciate it, you guys. Okay. So, again, this fleet, yeah, is going there. And this fleet is going to be heading down this way. So, you attack colony. Mind control. And this is a wow, microscopic planet. Radiated. So, I think the thing to do... Um, automated factory for just some flat production. And I'm going to go right into the uh, planetary radiation shield. And yes, encourage you to be production focused. That's fine. Although I guess that means you're not growing right now. Um, I will get a hydroponics farm. I'm going to move it over here and I will buy it. I realize it means not upgrading the public right away, but that's okay. I'm going to do this so we get a little bit of food here. You know how nice I am? I'm really nice to the people I mind control. I just convinced them that our empire is super cool and that they should join the fun. Hi what? Oh, high gravity is what the thing is. Okay, and this is barren, so you can't produce any food. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll have to do something about that at some point. Okay, you are actually producing food. It's just, it's showing us, oh, yeah, because it's 0 0.5 is what you're doing. So you can barely feed yourself. Um, we might queue up some food there soon then. We got, oh, Cybertronics up, done. Yes, I want the Cybertronics computer for more accuracy. Update my blueprints. Yeah, just go ahead and upgrade all for those changes. That's going to be perfectly fine. What is the will of the fiefdoms, Marshal? We don't need Titans. <laughs> it's like, at all. High energy focus. Energy absorber, mega fluxers for more ship space. We really don't need more ship Onwards. space. Like, clearly we didn't need battle pods for this. These guys don't have battle pods yet. Our new design will. Um, and that'll probably be relevant for, you know, um, going after, I don't know, um, uh, Orion or something, but that's about it. Why don't we go and blow up the space factory? That's going to be fine. But yeah, I can spread my fleet out. I mean, I'm going to keep the one battleship operating independently to do mind control while this one goes and does most things. Yeah, this is, there's no real fleet, so I'll just go and take more of your planets. I'm just going to auto double double frigate. Watch it, like, just decide that one of these things has to be destroyed just because it rolled high. The philosophers have gleaned a new insight. So, geosynchronous warehouse was more pollution cleanup on really rich planets. Or no, and then the Recyclotron. No, sorry. Recyclotron was this. Geosynchronous Warehouse is you discount your buyout costs. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to bother with that. I'm going to keep grabbing some relatively cheap stuff. And Space Factory. Ah, uh, yes. And then Spaceports. For even more money. It is going to be handy. Allows ships to travel through unstable warp points, personal shield, or stealth suit. Oh, for better spies. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be grabbing some for the cheaper technologies the for now. I'm not needing to beeline anywhere. We can backfill some stuff, maybe. Uh, yes, your production focus. This is a toxic planet. Uh, we're gonna start with. Um, tell you what, let's yeah, quick build a hydroponic farm so you can actually grow a little bit better. It's only size three. Um, and then I'm not gonna bother with these. I'm going to go uh, Starbase into Toxic Processor. There you go. Next turn. More people settling planets. Yeah, I settle planets too, using a, a process I like to call mind control. So one of the reasons I never colonize this area is because the planets weren't very good, which we can clearly tell over here, right? We're not grabbing quality planets at this point. Um, but that's all right. So, I'm going to get you to go this way, and then fleet number two, I'm going to get you to go and mind control these dudes. Um, how do I get the... you have a star base. There it is. This is going to be a little tougher, but it looks like we're still going to be fine. We've got double the firepower and about maybe 25% more defenses over here. So it's probably going to be okay. It's a bit riskier, though. Not like overwhelming odds, but, you know, whatever. Um, 
I'm going to go and build a warp wormhole thing there, a jump gate. None of these have um, star bases. I should almost like invert my fleet here, but it might be a little late. It's not until we get here that there's more star bases. Ah, we'll be fine. I have faith in my Q-Combinators. They seem to be ridiculous amounts of overkill. Alright. Yeah, science. Okay, yes. Because you're poor. We will want more science. Now, you're barren here. Um, so, terraforming would be quite nice. I think we will terraform. And then Hollow Simulator. Uh, do I want to move another scientist over here? Actually, if I do this, you're still producing enough food. Yeah, let's do that then. Yeah, you get the red fungus, which is quite handy. Cucumberator Mark 7 is done. Well then. How powerful is that? The defenses aren't huge. It might have some funky behaviors, though. So we're not going to go directly there. I'm going to see if I can't get you here a little bit faster. And another Cucumbinator over here. Wow. Yeah, we've got such a crazy freaking death fleet. Um, you head off in... Oh, is that you already that I moved? No. Go. There we go. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident. We haven't looked at the numbers of the Mechlon fleet and what kind of stuff they're packing. And they got much more defenses going on over here. Lots of troop transports as well. Okay, they actually have a much more reasonable fleet. Their offense isn't huge, but they've got a decent amount of defense. Growth, 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 threatening fleet. Galactic trading the is done. Have gleaned a new insight. That we have one planet that's doing trade goods right now. We might go and queue up some production for them. Uh, Astro University plus two research per cell. Yeah, we uh, getting that up and running earlier is probably better. So let's do that. And um, Empire Zirconia. We are still not going to stress about most things. That's fine, but may as well slowly build a spaceport. Because what the hell, right? Volcanic, you're full on food and everything. Um, we're generating plus five in excess? We are, so does that mean we've got a hydroponics farm over here that we could scrap? There we go, save a couple of bucks. Cucumberator plus public. Oh yes, so I mean, first of all, you've gotta go and blow up um, this military outpost. Oh, we took 1% damage, what? And then, yeah, you're just going to, I don't know, start from the top one over here and we'll mind control one per turn. Telepathic is awesome. Dauntless guidance system, which helps with our missiles. Oh, yeah, see, okay, I forgot that it, hmm. I'll keep researching that. My spies are probably idle then, right? Yeah. Hello, fleet. Go ahead and attack. No star base and a missile base. Well, let's take command. Not ram. Yeah, you just have mid-range all-purpose, which is fine. Yeah, we'll just let you be. Now. It looks like... Oh, we're actually shooting down almost all the missiles. There we go. We didn't do those. But we shot down a lot of incoming missiles. I say, why haven't we started shooting yet? Missile right. The gun range can't possibly be that low. Yeah, slowly turn over. Like, our, f our fleet is scary. Let's get this one giant ship that comes in. It's bigger than the starbase. And that nothing happens. Pack, mind control. That's a big planet. Lots of population over here. Very nice. Um, poor. God damn it. 
Everything sucks. There's, I think, enough people here. We are going to go, though, and finish Neutron Collider. Excellent. Then go right into a Robo Miner. That's going to be lovely. Um, and then at least build a Starbase, and we'll figure things after that. So be production-focused. Fleet needs orders. Space Factory, I'm going to be moving you... Um, over here, because that guy's out of the way. I mean, there's not going to be a lot of... Well... No, it's fine. I'll build the um, the, the jump point regardless. I might have to save this place for Mantarans at some point. Deep sea cooling done. Orbital batteries next. Our tech rate keeps going up and up and up. Who needs orders? You over here. You are going to attack. Mind control. Yay! And then you're going to be moving to there. Achievement unlocked! Conqueror! I think because we just conquered ten planets. And a tiny barren ultra poor. Why do people live here? Population is not quite capped yet. Um, I mean, I suppose we can focus on terraforming after. Or even earlier. Okay, well... We'll have to get some production boost. And then terraforming. But it's still tiny, but... I don't know, it's something. God damn! no wonder these guys are doing so poor. Uh, so the jump gate is there, so yes, I think this is a lovely place for another jump gate. And you've gone in mind control there. Great stuff. I don't know if the space worm will attack me if I just go through the system. I'm not sure. I'm just going to get you to come down here. Now, I like their movement rate. We got some better engines. So, like, it's only taking two turns to jump from here to there, which is really good. A lot of our time is actually being sunk, like, moving around within a system. Threatening fleet detected. That's fine. We're going to go and mind control another planet. Woot! And then you're going to be moving to there. Choose production. Tiny, barren, ultra poor. God. You can still fit five people on there, I guess, because you're Sakura. That's kind of your thing. Um, anyway, yeah, get started on that. That's going to be fine. It'll slowly get produced. And you can grow some more. Sure. Sure. All right. Well, we're going to go and put a cut in here. Obviously, next episode, we're going to continue our our final conquest of Sakura in space over here. And then we're going to turn our attention to the uh, to the cyborgs next door. They have a lot of planets, and they do have a more meaningful fleet, but um, we've also just built a crap ton of Q-Combinators, um, including the new Q-Combinators. The, well, the Mark VI and then the Mark VII's. Mark VII's only just have the, um, the better computers, which will help, but the Mark VI's and up have the battle pods and pack, like, twice as many guns. But I guess there's no such thing as too much overkill, but... I think this would have actually been a good example where we would have been better off having, say, twice as many battleships instead of having um, battleships that are twice as powerful. Because then we could spread out and take this a little faster. But, um, I don't know. Nothing, can't really complain. Thanks for watching. See you next time.